In this video, we're going to take a look at the screen class that's part of the Turtle module. Let's consider this snippet of code. And this line here will import the Turtle module, allowing our code to use the features that are defined in that module. For this computer program, what I would like to do is to consider something that I refer to as the execution space. And this simply refers to the area of the computer's memory associated with the running of this program and what populates this execution space. If we consider this line of the computer program and reference this little bit of it, you can see that screen. And this is referring to a class that's defined in the turtle module. Now schematically I'm going to show this class here in the diagram and we can see that the class has the name screen and we know like all classes it'll have attributes and methods. Now with reference to this line we can see that this is referring to the module which in turn is going to use the screen class to produce an instance of the screen class and what this is doing is producing that instance of the class. In in other words producing the object and we can see that taking place here there you can see we have the object and like all objects it has attributes and methods where these attributes and methods have been defined in the class in this case the screen class so these attributes and methods were defined in this class and this class belongs to the turtle module that we've just imported to our program now if we consider this line more fully this is responsible for producing the object and we can see that this is assigned to this drawing underscore area which is the name I've given it for the purpose of this program. Now this is the name that's going to be bound to the instance of the screen class that this bit of the code has produced and we can show that schematically here. I'm labeling this object with this name. So what we have here is this name is bound to this object and this setup here has been the result of this line executing. Once the object is created, which was based upon the class, we can, as far as the schematic diagram is concerned, remove the class from view. Because now what we have, we have this object, which has this name. In other words, this name is bound to this object. And all of the methods in this object and the attributes were derived from the class. But as an object oriented programmer, we now use the object. Let's now refer to this line of code. And this is an example of a message. And this here is referring to the object because this is the name of the object as shown by this label, which is bound to this object here, where this object is based upon the class, the screen class that was shown here in the code. And following this name, you can see we have the full stop, which is shown we have dot notation. And this is going to invoke the title method that's part of this object. And we can see we're passing in screen demo as a string. So what we're doing here, we're sending to this object this message to invoke this method that passes this in as the argument. Now schematically, I can show this as shown here. This is the message that's going to ask for this to be invoked where we're passing in this argument. And of course, if we look to the object, we can see it has a number of methods and of course it has data attributes at what I describe as the core. So the object looks to this and asks itself the question, do I have a method called title? And the answer is yes it does. Now how do I know that? Well because I look at the help files associated with this screen class here. So we can see that the object will respond by allowing this message to call this title where this title is a method that's part of this object which was therefore declared in the class on which this object is based. Now when this method executes what it'll do it'll set the title of the window that appears for the 
screen that we're going to use as the area into which we will draw our various shapes using the turtle. So if we come away from the schematic diagram and just look at the code by itself, this will import turtle, allowing us to use the features of the turtle module. This will create an instance of the screen class and here we're sending that instance a message which will alter the title to what we're passing in here as the argument so if we look at the runtime what we can expect to see is this and if you look here you can see that is screen demo and that is the argument that was sent here so the effect of this program is to change this here as you can see now the Python language is an example of a multi-paradigm language which means you can write your code using a procedural style or an object orientated style. For the program we're looking at on this slide I've described it from the reference of an object orientated program which results in the sending of messages to objects. You can write your turtle programs within Python in a procedural manner. I however prefer to stick to the object orientated approach and I think that is the best way for turtle because if you remember from the first video I did in this playlist on turtle we talked about sending messages to the turtle to tell it to move around the screen appropriately and here what we're looking at we're looking at how we set up an area for the turtle to move around in and that area can be viewed as an object to which we can send messages where this is an example of a message sent to that object which invokes this method. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.